Hello everyone, we are going to talk about how to format our papers correctly in MLA. That is according to the conventions of the Modern Language Association. I will try to keep this video as short and sweet as possible because I imagine that for most of you, if you're watching this video, this is a refresher and not the first time that you are seeing this information. If this is the first time, however, I would encourage you to consult either the official MLA um, text released every couple years, or perhaps another online source such as the Purdue Owl. Now, what you will see here on this screen is a sample essay. And this is actually a meta-essay, right? It's an essay about the essay and about formatting generally. So it's not to be interpreted as a serious essay of any kind, but rather just as an illustration for um, you know, a, a standard text that we need to format correctly prior to submitting for potentially a grade or a publication or some other venue. So the first thing you will notice here is that we have up at the top a header. And so your header should look exactly like this. You'll start out with your name first. Now I'm imagining that Matthew McConaughey is in this class. Of course he's not, right? He is um, you know, far too established to need to take a composition course this year. But I'm pretending that he's in this class. So if your name happens to be Matthew McConaughey, you would leave this. Otherwise, you should change it and put your first and last name. On the second line here, you have the name of your teacher or professor, right? So in this case, my name's Dr. Spear, so that is what my students would list. On the next line, you have your course. And if you happen to be in middle school or high school, this might be the period of your class. It might be period three or period five. In college and universities, on the other hand, we list first the abbreviation of the course. Then we list the actual number that refers to the course itself. So ENGL 1101 at my particular institution is English Composition 1. But then finally, I have the section number listed here. Please do this for your instructors, your teachers, your professors. As we are grading, it makes it much easier if we are reminded which section this paper comes from, especially if we are grading up to or over 100 essays at one time. And then finally, on the next line, we have the date. You want to start with the actual number and then you'll write out the name of the month before having the number for the year. So that's our header. That appears on the first page of every essay. Only the first page, however. So then we have our title. After the title, immediately we begin the essay. You'll see each paragraph is indented. You want to make sure that, of course, you indent them as well. I have noticed, for whatever reason, that there seems to be a trend in which students have forgotten how to indent a paragraph. Please do not sit there and simply use the space bar. You have a tab button on your keyboard that you can use and it will automatically insert it to the same point for each paragraph. Now, the first thing we want to do once we have our header listed, once we have a title and we have the rest of our essay here, is select everything. And you can, just for reference, certainly do this before you start writing or you can wait until the end and do it too. But the first thing you want to do here is set your font to Times New Roman. So up here, you just click on the drop down and select Times New Roman, and everything should be font size 12. Next, you want your title to be in the center. Do not simply put your cursor before the title and hit the space bar. Do not do that, okay? It looks messy and you will never get it perfectly in the center. What you can do is just highlight that title, and up here you'll see four buttons. This is what we call text justification. You can put your text on the left, in the middle, on the right, or just simply justify it. And you're going to see what these mean very soon, but the first and most important for our title is that it must be centered. Next, we want to select all of our paragraphs here in the actual essay, and you'll notice on the side that we have these really jagged edges. It looks messy and disorganized. If you have a teacher or professor as picky as I am, this will be really helpful. Or if you yourself are very, let's say, particular, this might help as well. So you will highlight the paragraphs in your essay, and up top there is this 
fourth button justify if you click on that you will see that everything straightens out so pay attention because this happens quickly you hit the justify button and now all of your lines end at the same point it just looks neater and cleaner so that's the first thing we want to do the next thing is this if you are including external sources and not every essay does but if you're including external sources you will have a works cited page this appears on an entirely different page so right before works cited we can press control enter and this will give us a new page similarly we want to highlight works cited put this in the middle of our page and then each of these entries here should also be justified so that it's neat on the sides and we don't have enough time in this particular video to talk about how to cite the references but it will suffice for now to remind you hopefully it's a reminder that your sources should be listed in alphabetical order and if each source has two or more lines starting at that second line you should be indenting them. This just simply makes it easier to read. So that in this case, for instance, we can see where the book ends, we can see where the journal article ends, and where the actual book here in the third entry begins. All right, so we are almost there. The next thing we want to do is highlight everything and make sure that we have our correct spacing. So up here, you'll see a double-sided arrow with three little lines next to it. If you hover over it, it says line spacing. You will click on that and go to custom spacing. We want to set our line spacing to two, that means double-spaced, and we want to have zero points before and zero points after. We're going to see in just a few minutes here that Microsoft Word automatically adds before and after space as well but does not change the line spacing. And so depending on the word processor you're using, you might have to play around with this a little bit, but ultimately we always want it to be double spaced with zero points before and zero after. Then you can hit apply. You'll see here our essay has stretched out. It's looking pretty formal now, but there are still a couple other things that we need to do. Okay, the first, and you could certainly do this at the very beginning. Most word processors do this automatically, so this is just to double check. You'll go to File, Page, Setup, and you wanna make sure that each of your margins are set at one inch. One inch at the top, bottom, left, and right. So this happened automatically. I'm just double checking and hitting OK. And then finally, we need to add page numbers. So we're going to come up here to the Insert bar Go down to Page Numbers, More Options. Now we want the page number to appear in the header, that is at the top of the page, not in the footer, that is at the bottom. We do not, however, want it to appear on the first page, so we are going to uncheck the box that says Show on First Page. Some professors still will allow you to do so, and the MLA has actually gone back and forth on this in the past. I, however, find it somewhat frustrating given that we already have the header on the first page and we know that that is the first page because it has the header so I prefer not to have it there. Many of your professors if they are 30 or older will probably agree with me as well. So uncheck that show on first page and then here you want it to start at page one. So you hit apply and if you scroll down, you'll see on page two, we have a number two up at the top, and we have a number three. So that's the very first thing. Next, and I need to copy and paste his name because believe it or not, I always misspell Matthew McConaughey's last name. So what you wanna do is where you have that header, just double click, and you will type your last name and put a space. You want one space between your last name and the page number. Then you will highlight it, and once again, remember, everything's Times New Roman 12. From there, you can click outside of the header, and now it is perfect. You have your header here on the first page formatted correctly. You have your title centered. Each paragraph is indented. We have good text justification over here. We have the header beginning on the second page with our last name and the page number itself. And then on the last page here, we have works cited uh, centered on the page 
each of our entries in alphabetical order with the second line of each entry indented. And of course, we have one inch margins set on each side and everything is in Times New Roman 12. So now this paper is ready for submission.